carrying on with algebra, we're going to start talking about terms here. So, not school terms, but terms that we talk about in terms of algebra. And a term is really just a group of numbers or variables, right? So, numbers and letters, without any adding or subtracting between them. So, an example that we can look at here, given right off the bat, would be 3xy to the power of 4. Another example could be 2. That could be a term all by itself. Or 4a could be a term. Or x, z, w to the fourth could be a term. Or negative 3, a, b could be a term. I know I said no pluses or minuses, but I'm meaning here no adding or subtracting, so that's really just the number negative 3. That's okay as a term as well. So these are terms. And just to show you a, another example here, something like this, if I gave you the expression um, 4xy minus 17ab squared, here we actually see these are two terms. This would be one term, and this here would be a second term. So this expression has two individual terms in it, versus these are each just an individual term. So we can often take expressions and break them on, down into just individual terms. So a little bit of vocabulary for us. Um, this big number up the front, what I call the big number up the front, is going to be called the coefficient. Oops. Coefficient. And that's also sometimes known by me as the big number. But I want you to get used to talking about it as the coefficient. It's the number in front. These guys here are what we call the base. And this guy up here is the power. For instance, y to the power of 4. And x here is another base. So each letter is its own base. And it may or may not have a power on it. In this case, the x does not have a power and the y does. So we've got the coefficient, the number in front, and then the two bases here, x, y to the power of 4. So what's important for us is being able to add together terms that are similar, or what we call like terms. So for instance, you always probably hear things like not being able to add apples and oranges, right? So we can't put together apples and add them to cricket bats. Same idea with terms. So like terms, to make them the same, what needs to be exactly the same on them is the bases and the powers. Okay, So they must have the same base and the power. The coefficient in front can be different. And we need to remember that only like terms can be added or subtracted. That's another important piece. Okay, So as an example for that, I cannot add 4xy minus 17ab because they're not like terms. xy is different from ab squared. If I wanted to write a like term for one of these, I could say that 4ab and 3, negative 3ab are like terms, because they both have an a and a b with no powers. I could also say, for instance, that 10xzw to the 4 is a like term with this one. Even though there's no number in front, the x, z, w to the power of 4, x, z, w to the power of 4, the base and the power are exactly the same. So, when the base and the power are exactly the same, how we're going to actually add them together is just by identifying which ones are the like terms and adding the coefficients in front. So I'll notice here that it's x squared and x squared, so I know these are like terms. And then all I need to do to combine them is look to see what's going on here. I've got 4x squared and 6x squared, so I can add those together to get 10 of them. Where does the 10 come from? That's 4 plus 6. And if you want to envision that, this, we've got x squared, x squared, x squared, and x squared. We've got 4 of them plus another 6 of them x squared, x squared, x squared, x squared, x squared, and x squared. 
So 4x squared is really just 4x squared all together, and 6x squared is really 6 of them all together. So if I'm going to combine these all together in one big pile, I'll now have 10 of them. So you'll notice the key thing here, the number in front changes, but the base and the power stay the same. So in this case, the x squared is still x squared, but the 6 and the 4 have turned into a 10. Okay. Sometimes a trick can be to put a shape around like terms and include the sign that's in front of it to help make sure you don't miss the negative or the positive. So looking at the next example, 10ab minus 4ab, I'll notice that a and b and a and b, no powers, are the same. These are like terms. So I might circle it. And as an example, to show you what I mean, I circle the sign in front of the 4, because that minus 4 goes with the 4. So I've got AB, that will stay the same, we keep the base the same, AB will stay the same, and now I just need to look at the numbers. 10 minus 4. And 10 minus 4 is 6. So 10AB minus 4AB becomes 6. Again, that's 10 ABs all in a pile, and we're going to take 4 of them away, so we're left with 6. Another good example here about putting shapes around them, let's identify in this long expression what are actually like terms. I see I've got 4xy, and I might put a circle around that. a, not the same as xy. 8xy, that is the same, so I'm going to circle it, and I'm also going to circle that sign in front. Notice how I've circled that guy in front. A and B, so no other XY's, so I know those guys are like terms. Then I might come in with a different color, or draw a different shape, and look at the A. Okay, so I'm going to put a box around negative 10A. 2A, oh, that's another A, it's going to be a like term. And minus 4B, well, that's not an A, so I can't include it. And I'll notice then that minus 4B is just one, all by itself. So I'm going to add together the like terms. I've got 4xy's plus 8 more xy's, so I'm going to get 12 xy's. Looking at the next ones, I've got negative 10 a's, and I need to add two a's to that. So think about it, negative 10 plus 2 gets you 2, negative 8. If you need to draw yourself out a number line, you can. You're at negative 10 and you need to go plus 2 up to negative 8. So negative 8a, and that 4b, well, it doesn't have any other like terms, so we just leave it exactly as it is. And that becomes our final answer. So the final answer here is 12xy minus 8a minus 4b. So again, you can only add together terms that are like terms. They have the same base and the same power. And if there's a whole bunch of them in an expression together, it can be really helpful to circle them with different colors and include the sign in front of it to make sure you don't forget to subtract or add depending on what's there.